Hi, it's Kelly here, and I've got great news for you. Could we possibly end the, the panic from the corona today? Can we do it? I'm going to show you three ways that we are going to do that. And I know that sounds crazy, so let me take you on a tour here about me so that you know just how crazy I am, all right? First of all, I'm the author of this book over here. Oh, see, I moved things around and the camera's reversed. So where is it? The book is over there. It used to be over here, but now it's over there, wherever it is. I wrote that, and uh, and then I and then over here. Well, I'm still pointing over there. Let me let me turn around here so we can get this right. If I, which way do I need to go? I need to go this way. Yeah. All right. That's another. That was an early version of uh, the Heartfelt Energizer right there. And then these are some of my other version of the the. the uh, um, whirling bliss machine to help me lose 85 pounds without dieting or exercising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, I got pictures of it, really. Anyway, and then I was the co-creator of Sinus Magic. Uh, a really sharp doctor took that business away from me. And I love him. <laughs> I love him so much. So, yeah. And um, anyway, so these are some of the things. I don't know if I showed you all of them, but you get the idea. Oh, oh yeah, where was that that, that uh, goofy looking thing? Here, I used this uh, when I was living before, the birds were flying over my car and doing their thing, you know? So I just plugged this in the ground near it and the birds almost never, ever, ever again. And it was like a daily occurrence, you know, happening. So if you get one of these, you know, these uh, spinny whirly gigs, and I just thought it would look good there for now. I don't know what to do with it. So anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you three ways that we are going to wipe out the, the panic. And we're going to, we're going to wipe out, uh, we're going to raise people's uh, membrane potential. We're going to wipe out the flu. And I'm going to explain that to you. But anyway, you know, it, it, the flu is always going to be with us to a certain extent, but we're not going to have it like it is, you know, where, where people are like staying off the streets. All right. So, so anyway, um, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to, to uh, just really create a change in, in, in our attitudes. And I don't mean change in other people's attitudes necessarily. I mean change in ours. And it's so powerful, it can change others, possibly, right? So we're going to do the best we can. And if they don't change, that's going to help us because we'll see what it is that's between us and loving kindness, right? And that's what the first question is. It is, why do I love discovery? What's between me and loving kindness? Oh, I need to tell you this. That question is what enabled me to invent this. And if, and if I just said that, it's because I have ADD and I don't remember stuff. And I'm also going to be 70 years old. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, and I got a broken back, so my, the wiring to my brain doesn't always work right, and I, I, I forget if I said something. So anyway, uh, so these inventions came as a result of this question, and I know that sounds crazy, but see, it, it brings in gratitude. Gratitude brings in miracles. Yeah. Oh, did I mention, did I mention I got a broken back? The person who broke my back, I love her. <laughs> I love her. She's in heaven now, and if she's not in heaven, I want to take her there, right? I want to take her to heaven, right? And say, come on, don't feel bad about what you did. Just just uh, feel good. And I just saw something flash on the screen. It's something I've been trying to get for about three weeks now, and I think they're, they're there. They just showed up in my email. They're the photographs of a leg healing, a, excuse me, a foot healing, uh, from uh, ulcer ulcerated diabetes, and they had a Hall of Fame coincidence while one of the one of the uh, heartfelt energizers was running near him. And it doesn't have to be near, but it was near, and 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 he had a Hall of Fame coincidence while that was running. They wanted to cut his foot off, and uh, he still has his foot now. He can drive, he can walk, and all of that. So. These miracles just keep popping up, and I'll put that up on I'll put that up on my Patreon site where you can see it. Um, it's pretty amazing. But anyway, I, I got distracted to the question. So the question 
is why do I love discovery? What's between me and loving kindness? I'm going to take these glasses off so that you don't have that reflection in, off of the glasses. Um, so why do I love um, why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? I do this all the time. Because of my broken back and my neurological deficits, I drop things like 10 or 15 times a day. And I f f keep finding new ways to do it. And so I ask myself that question because, you know, I have all the evidence to be angry. I have all the evidence to be upset. Um, you know, because it's hard. It's not like you where you just bend over and pick it up. It's dumb like that. It takes me about 20 times as long oftentimes because i got to go get the grabber and pick the thing up. And all that. So, so this question has freed me up. Um, I just had the shower curtain just fall. See, I tell you, it's all kinds of crazy things. Uh, and, and, you know, and it's like, oh my God. And it's saying, you know, you got the curtain going this way and that way. And of course, my back is like whatever, and just getting it back up. And I was loving it, loving it. So, this happened today. So, anyway, um, why does it work? Because we have the evidence when something goes wrong. So it's very difficult to go from it's very difficult to go from the negativity with the evidence to being positive because we feel like we're lying to ourselves. Because you know, because it goes, no, 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 we look, boom, boom, I got reasons one, two, three, and four right here to tell you that it's not good. But when we say, why do I love discovering? That's like looking stuff up on Google, right? You have just changed your focus. You're in a search mode. And so for a moment, that thing that happened is not there because you're looking for the solution the solution now I say it twice it's not something you got to say over and over and over again just whenever something bothers you two times and the second time is why do I love discovery what's between me and loving kindness right now love is a gratitude word and it is by law gratitude gives you grace and grace is the land of miracles. And if you don't believe in, in this sort of thing, just say it gives you good luck, right? Because it does. People, you know, people who are grateful all the time, things come to them all the time. So, so now you are in a search mode. And see, that search mode has led me to look things up on Google, in fact. And, and or sometimes things will just pop in because, you know, my mind is in that frame. It's like it's, it's in there. That even though I don't remember stuff, it's like it's in there when it's needed. And that's how I know I'm not senile because I it'll come right back when I when I need it and it'll show up. So it's just a matter of a short circuit going on. And I've had this my whole life. And um, because I my my back I got my back busted when I was about a year old. Got pow, 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 pow by <laughs> the lady who nursed me. I love her. Oh, it was tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God bless you, Doris. Anyway, so so we ask ourselves this question: Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? And so right now, it would be really easy to get panicked, right? So that's an issue that's going to come up for us with this with this virus thing, right? So we can ask that question, right? And we don't have to get the answer instantly. It'll come to you when it's time to come to you. But in the meantime, you're going to be feeling a little better. And if you need to ask it four or five times a day, do that, you know. And you'll find that if you don't ask it, it works really well in not creating for you what you want. <laughs> I've, I've gone two weeks a couple of times, and it really, it's powerful. <laughs> it's a powerful question not to ask, you know. So ask it, right? Yeah, it's, you know, my i got to tell you, my invention of the... The heart felt energized. You're not going to believe this, but just just be with, go with me on this, all right? And because I'm going to give you a chance to feel it, and then you're going to, some of you are going to say, "Oh yeah, well maybe he was right," because I'm, 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 a, you know, in another country and I can feel it, you know, or I'm in the state of Washington, whatever. So, uh, I just got lost again. So anyway, oh, the invention is the greatest invention uh, of this week. <laughs> But I invented a few <laughs> a few months ago. Although I keep improving it. So anyway, uh, it travels around the globe seven times a second. And a guy in India was sick for 20 days. He didn't tell me wh how, what he was sick with. But he, he wrote and said, 
he, he immediately felt like playing relaxing music after 20 days when you're not feeling like doing anything, you know. And then he, he was almost completely recovered the first day. The first day. <laughs> yeah. So so that's the way it works. It just goes. And a lady in, in uh, Australia, same thing. I'm in Florida to give you an idea how far that is. You know, it goes around the globe. And, it, you know, anyway. And we, you're going to get a chance to experience that. And it's going to help you to relax and to maintain. Because, you know, when you ask this question and then you drop something, it's not easy to maintain, right? So, you know, you may not want to ask the question. But when it when it comes to your health, you want to restore your health. You want to keep it. You want to maintain. We're going to maintain here. That's a Hall of Fame coincidence. I don't cure anybody. I don't. I don't diagnose anybody. I don't. Uh, you know, uh, whatever the, all that that is. You know, prescribe. I don't. I don't do any of that. Any anything. All those words that I'm not remembering right now because of my, you know, what do they say on those on those health bottles? You know, I don't. You know, go check a health bottle if you don't know what it is. It's not important. Anyway, so so you ask that question, and it brings to your heart sometimes. Um, it takes you to a beautiful place, a beautiful place. So um, I'm sorry, I didn't know this was going to happen. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. So anyway, um, so that's the question. Let me repeat it for you again. Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? I'll try to remember to include that in the bottom here. So when you share this video, when you pass it along, it'll be there for them too. Um, the more people who do this, you know, what is that? When two or more are gathered together in my name, uh, I am there with you also. And so and it's not that I will be with you there also, because I'm going to be right here. But you know, the higher power, what I call loving kindness, that's, that's the words that I use to describe the higher power, loving kindness. And I think even if you don't believe in certain things, you can use that, that term, loving kindness, because I'm sure you're all about that. Everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to love. And I'm sure you do too. And if you're in so much pain right now, you feel like you can't do it, could you ask yourself the question, and 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 could you uh, do it whenever you need it, and whenever you, it's too hard for you? Just can you just notice how it doesn't work when you don't ask, and and then go ahead and ask. And I have found over and over again when I go to bed at night, you know, I'll, I will have done something, you know, and I, and, I'll, and sometimes it'll be right before I go to bed because I've. Because I'm dropping things and getting into beds, it puts me in a negative place. And I found that when I ask the question, it can clear instantly. My attitude about it can clear instantly. And there's no, there's no like prerequisites. It's not like, oh well, I killed three people, so now it's going to take me a long time to recover on the mental level. Doesn't mean you won't have to go to jail, you know. It doesn't mean that. It just means that that you. You know, you can recover and get and bring that peace of mind in your heart so that you don't kill anybody else. You get it? You can stop the pattern. You can stop the pattern. And maybe you won't go to jail. Maybe you won't. Maybe God will forgive you so much. With you, and, and you'll be so grateful about the gratitude that you have. And, and you'll say, thank you, God, for giving me this peace of mind. And, and God will give you that. And, 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 and. And that gratitude will just expand and, and expand and expand, and you will sin no more. Just like Jesus said to the crowd, those among you, when it, whoever cast the first stone, you know, cast the, whoever has, is without sin, cast the first stone. And, and, and uh, none of them did. <laughs> he said, well, if they forgive you, I forgive you. So it, it can happen that fast. The woman was going to be stoned to death. They were right in the midst of it. And Jesus came up and started talking or, or drawn in. The, he was actually drawn in the dirt. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's another story. So, uh, so ask the question, why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Let's move right into, into uh, 
the hard valve energizer. I have it turned on low because it, it, it the fan makes a whoop whoop whoop. Uh, okay. For this purpose, on my Patreon site, of course, it's on high. Um, you know, where, that's where people go. Oh, it's, this is rotating. I want it to stay still here. Um, let me let me push this in and get it. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna hold it back far enough and. And what I want you to notice is, if you well, if you if you notice, put that way. Do you notice? Some of you will. Oh, something popped up on my screen, and, I, and that's telling me I have to look at the camera anymore. I guess in its own way. Um, so, um, do, are you noticing any feelings of like relaxation? It could be warmth. If you need to be warm, it could be cool, cooling. If you feel like you need to be cool, um, it could be, you know, peace. Uh, one lady, I was on the phone with her, and I turned it towards her uh, from, you know, we were on the phone, and she was dealing with a lot of PMS stuff, pretty serious, like headaches, and and the, you know, the kidneys were bothering her, and she said to me like I think it was four times. She said, my, my head feels light. It feels light you know, in different kinds of ways she was saying it. My, my head just feels so light. And, and my kidneys are feeling better. And this was, I mean, I had just moved, pointed one of them at her, got back on the phone. I might have said, I'm back. And it's pointing towards you. And that, those were the words that came out of her mouth. That's how fast this can happen. And what it does, and I don't want to get into all the details of what it is, there's like six or seven facets to this thing, uh, using stuff from like Nikola Tesla and George Zlachowski and that sort of thing, and Fl Patrick Flanagan. Um, and this takes what they've done, and I believe it's taken it like a thousand times higher. And um, so, Oh yeah, I'm not getting into the details. So somehow, I forget what I was going to say. Somehow, this thing just really uh, helps me. I, you know, I, I, I've noticed it. Like I'll, I'll have it turned off for a moment, and then I'll turn it back on, and it's like, oh my gosh, I can feel that. You know. So anyway, so the, when we're in a state of relaxation, it allows a body to heal, and, and the fact that you know that this is happening. You create the peptides in your brain, and those peptides match up to the frequencies that come out of here. There are, it's just so you know, it's like a thousand points here, and they are a factorial of how many different frequencies that can be generated, and it's a thousand times 999 times 998 times 997, and so on down to one. All right, so. There's a lot of frequencies, and our body needs a lot of different frequencies. And so uh, this helps. And this is why, oh, I should tell you, I hug people who have the flu because my membrane potential is higher. That's what this does. And it's the membrane potential that repels vi all viruses, all bacteria. And and, uh, and I've made five vi different videos where I've where I've stuck my finger in my mouth and touched my nose and in my eyes. I'll show you right now. But let me get this uh, mouse here. Let's see. See the mouse?